We want to get a check of the weather with meteorologist Byron Miranda. Hey, B. You know why it's good to come to work on a day like this? Why? The air conditioning's free and that is on. That's correct. That is right. And this is, <laughs> that's correct. And so, what you want to do if you don't have AC, uh, later today, the cooling centers, cooling off centers will be open. Just give them a call. I think it's, what is it, guys? 0311? 311, 311. So if you need a cooling off place later tonight when your house, if you don't have the AC, will be hotter than it is outside, call them, find a place to go. We need the radar to give us some rain today, uh, but with all this heat and humidity, there is a chance of a convective storm, but there's no chance to really cool us down because high pressure is to the south, and that's giving us a southwest wind. And you see on the model here, the rain future cast, it's not picking up any rain. That does not mean we won't see a 15 to 20 minute thunderstorm. But then it's over and then the heat's still there and the humidity is still there. It is uh, story number two, another heat wave. Uh, we had one, what, a couple of weeks ago, it seems like three weeks ago. And the reason for it is this. You see the high over the Atlantic. Uh, this is what we call this big ridge of high pressure over the Atlantic. And that taps into that southwest wind, which brings up that moisture from the southeast, uh, from the Gulf Coast, and brings the heat with it. And that's why we really heat up. We could be 10 to 15 degrees hotter than we should be for this time of year. The record high today, I think, is 96. So we're, we could get close to record heat today and tomorrow. Currently, this is the time. Now, Katie Corrado was talking about this. She said, you know, if you want to do your physical exertion, you got to get out here right now. And she's correct. Uh, you see the temperatures in the low to upper 70s. While it's very humid, you can get that run in. You can get that walk in. You can take the doggy for a good little walk uh, before it's too hot after 9 a.m. to do that because of the winds being out of the southwest. And with that transportation of warmth and moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, we get hot and muggy conditions, feeling more like Atlanta, Georgia, or Miami, Florida, right? When you're talking about a feel-like temperature of 99 degrees, you can't do outdoor activities. The kids can't do it this afternoon. They just can't. I mean, it's dangerous. You get heat exhaustion, heat stroke if you stay out too long. Uh, 98 for Sunnyside, Hackensack, 101. That's what it's going to feel like today. I'm sticking with your feel like temperatures. Dobbs Ferry, 97. And even Levittown, even if you get a little south breeze, you're still going to feel like in the low 90s. So really no relief on Long Island either. Uh, tomorrow into Wednesday, same situation. You see the winds out of the southwest. And with length of day, angle of sun, and that southerly flow bringing up that warmth from the Gulf of Mexico, we just build on today and tomorrow. So dangerous today, dangerous tomorrow, dangerous Wednesday. I know you don't want to hear this. I, some folks are like, well, don't tell me, Byron. Well, I got to tell you, right? I got to warn you that, you know, when you're talking about feeling like 100 degrees in Lenox Hill, Hackensack 102, or 98 in Dobbs Ferry, that is not something you want to be out sore playing with. Now, this is why I was mentioning the cooling off place. Uh, if you live in a house or an apartment, you don't use the AC tonight, the house will actually start to get hotter than it is outside. It won't cool off, just like the car. We emit shortwave radiation from the sun. It turns around as terrestrial radiation, longwave radiation, and it gets caught in the house, and then it gets deadly hot during the evening hours, and that's why you need the AC. Keep your shades closed today. Try to keep the sun out, but it's still going to be hot. 99 feel like today. There's no difference really tomorrow and Wednesday. Even Thursday, we're still flirting with a feel like of 90. We've got to wait until the weekend before it cools off, Marissa. And we've got to take it easy, right? 